Yeah. My name is Bryn Player Smith. I'm so excited to be here tonight. I started us off with some mean girls this evening. Now, Regina is absolutely one of my dream roles. However, she does perpetuate the stereotype that all confident women are mean, that all women who stand up for themselves and speak their mind are prickly and unlikable. What a weird rumor to start about women. I wonder who started that. Well, I grew up in a family where confidence and kindness were supposed to go hand in hand. I grew up in a very, very strong female-centered Italian household. My mother has four, sis four, is one of four, she's three sisters, and all of them have girls, except for one, our youngest, Hugh, whom we love. And we were constantly empowered to love ourselves and our bodies and our minds and know that what we brought to the table was important and necessary. Now my mom's maiden name is Player, and that's my middle name, my sister's middle name, and the middle name of all of my female cousins. And our family motto, which we heard constantly growing up, was, Player girls don't chase. I'd make a magazine cover. I do keep house on a dime. I'd make a wonderful lover. I should be paid over time, cause I can bake too. On top of the lot, my oven's the hottest you'll find. Yes, I can roast too. My chickens just ooze. My gravy will lose you your mind. I'm a brand new note on the tablet. Don't so just try me a la carte. With a single course, you could choke a horse, baby. You won't know where to start. Oh, I'm an orthurve, a jelly preserve. Not in the recipe book. And what's more, baby, I can cook. Speaking of food, Sharing meals is something that I love doing with the people that I love. Family holidays are a do not miss with mine. We are laughing and eating and talking and yelling. The four pillars of a good Italian-American family. I'm actually a dual citizen of the United States and of Italy, which is something some of you may know because I really can't shut up about it. And it's something I'm very, very proud of. It's my go-to fun fact and has been my go-to fun fact for my whole life. When I was in the second grade, we had to do a worksheet, and I put as my fun fact on this worksheet that I am a dual citizen of the United States and Italy. Now, later in the day, my teacher calls me up to the front of the room, and I was like, what could this be about? I was usually called up to the front of the room because I was talking too much during class and distracting my classmates, which is actually still while I'm called up to the front of the room. But I was like, no, today I was good. She calls me up. She was like, hey, Bren, we need to have a conversation about lying. And I was like, no, lying about what? And she was like, there is no way you're a dual citizen. That's impossible. And I was like, oh my God, so sorry for the misunderstanding. No, I am. I am, actually. Then she started to berate me about lying, about lying. And I just sat there nodding, saying, okay, I cannot wait to go home and tell my mom. <laughs> so I get home, and my mother calls her <laughs> and says, no, Bryn is actually a dual citizen. And you just accused a second grader of lying about her fun fact. Like, if I was gonna lie about my fun fact, I'd pick something cool, like, I could fly or something. <laughs> to give you a better understanding of what my second grade vibe was and why I was so confident going toe-to-toe -to -toe with my second grade teacher, I'd like to show you Exhibit A. Who wants to go up against that? <laughs> Not me. Well, I Can Cook Too is actually one of my college audition songs, but before I wanted to do theater, I wanted to be a pop star. So my parents put me in guitar and in voice lessons. Now, at the ripe old age of 11 years old, my go-to songs were Hallelujah by Leonard Cohen and House of the Rising Sun. I am now going to show you a video of the former, which I thought was probably only second to the original.
So Leonard, wherever you are, I hope you take this as my formal apology. Well, I've heard there was a secret chord that David played and pleased the Lord, but you don't really care for music, do ya? Well, it goes like this, the fourth, the fifth, the minor fall, the major lift, the baffled king composing, hallelujah, 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 hallelujah. I hope, I hope we're even now. Now, I would not be where I am today without both of my parents, my beautiful sister, and my extended family. They have taught me kindness and passion and strength and resilience and to always follow my dreams. However, none of the stories that I have told you this evening have really meant anything because my parents have sealed my fate in this industry with this photo. Clearly, performing was the only option. <laughs> Flashback to a girl with a song in her heart as she's waiting to start the adventure. The fire and the drive that makes dreams come alive. They fill her soul. She's in control. The drama, the laughter, the tears, just like pearls. Well, they're all in this girl's repertoire. It's all for the taking, and it's magic we'll be making. Let me be your star. I'm going to sing both parts. I'll just have to forget the hurt that came before. Forget what used to be. The past is on. 